Peace, blessings, salutations. Yurima Karama here again. Real life, real talk. These are the days of our lives. So, you know, we're, we're, we're talking about black empowerment, black group economics, black building, black community. We see the death toll that's going on in the community. The death rate is rising. We got the, you know, Tariq Nasheed likes to call them the race soldiers. I like to call them what they really are, just the uh, assassins, because they just, as, the, you know, these cops are just assassinating young black men, women, and children out here in the streets. And, uh, you know, it, they're, they're making it obvious what they're doing. Like I said, I always think it's a shot that's being called from up top. I don't know, but I can't see how, again, we got a black president and have had two black uh, uh, attorney generals and we have the death toll at this. So they're basically just either either it's being a call, a call from up top or the police department is just spitting in the face of the uh, black president and his attorney generals. But in any case, on the flip side, we have brothers and sisters in our communities that are out here on a daily basis fighting for our communities who are out here on the front lines talking to our young people, trying to groom, trying to do what they can to, 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 to change the lives and the conditions that, that our young people live up under. And so I want to introduce you today to a brother, um, uh, Thel Robinson III. He's founder of a company called, organization called A Thug is a Dud. And uh, what's so important about, about his, this brother and his organization, not only are they out on the front lines, but one of the things that I admire about his organization, as opposed to some other organizations, is that his organization, first of all, they're doing it from the cuff. They're doing it uh, from, from, from their own organizational standpoint. He's built a blueprint that they follow. He's built a training program, a training module that they follow. But even more importantly is that they don't they don't answer to anybody. Meaning that, you know, some of these organizations out here, they work hand in hand with the police. Well, <laughs> we see how the police treat our community. So um, with Thel Robinson and his group, a thug is a dud. They do not work with the police. They work directly with the community. They are work directly with community leaders, but they do not work with the police. So what I wanted to do, I wanted to give this brother a chance to uh, uh, tell you a little bit about himself, his organization. But more importantly, brother, the organization needs funding. And as many of our, our organizations do, uh, we need funding. You know, it takes finance to uplift the nation. So I want to turn this over to, uh, to, to Thel. And, uh, you know, let you let you hear from this brother and what he's doing. He's very astute. I love this brother. I love the work that he's doing. So without further ado, Thel Robinson III, a thug is a dud. Thank you for having me. Um, the organization is, is two and a half years old. Um, when we know of parties that are involved in a fight, shoot, and homicide, we're trying to prevent the next fight, shoot, and homicide. And then establishing those relationships, we offer GED tutoring, mentoring, resume building, job leads, clothing for job leads, and mock interviewing. And so our whole objective is, is to reduce the gun violence in the inner city. Um, you need people that have been there and done that that's called to go back into these trenches. Anybody can't go in them trenches. So the people that are not called, I wouldn't advise them to go in there. But the ones that are called, they have to be obedient. And, uh, and stay steadfast in saving that life because you don't know how that life is going to impact the community years later because in 91 to 95, I was living that thug life, you know, and it cost me uh, seven years of my life. And um, I was out seven months, and then the feds got me, and I did six years and ten months. And um, I've been home a little over five years, and now, you know, my life is straight. And, you know, my life is straight. And But um, I didn't get back to normalcy just to sit in a room and be quiet. You know, uh, this organization was birthed into me. Uh, my passion for the youth was birthed into me. You know, um, in 96, I saw a 15-year-old get killed for nothing in the back of my car. Hmm. And um, I tried to rationalize it and play it over and over. What could have happened differently? And I, I, I came up with no conclusion. But so that's where the passion came 
far as the youth when I saw that happen in the back of my car in 1996. And um, I've been on fire since. And um, I just, I'm just i just trying to do my best to empower these teens and young adults and allow the community to realize that we need to come together to help these teens and young adults. We can't allow society to dictate how the community needs to be done. And I hate that term, policing our community. We're not policing our community. We're being leaders of our community. To use their language and have black leaders saying, you know, we need to police our community, it really makes me cringe inside. Mm. Because now you're just being a clone for what they want. Because them same people is going to report back to them. Mm. And, you know, we, we can't do that. You know, we, we, um, we're around killers, shooters, you know, and they trust us when we come into the community. And so we see, but we don't see. We hear, but we don't hear. You know, we're not there to rat nobody out. We're there to help those that want the help from us. Mm-hmm. That's, that's the, the, the most important objective that communities, police, and whoever that's, you know, listening to this, we are there to advocate for these teens and young adults that want help. Because the reality is a parent can't go to the library and pick up a book to see how to deal with her grandson, her son, or her nephew. You need people that have been there and done that that can help these teens and young adults and coach them and mentor them to where they need to be. Um, And we we just try and do our part. So tell us uh, real briefly about uh, two questions. Tell us uh, some of the successes that you've had over the past couple of years and also tell where they can find uh, what links they can hit to to donate to your organization. Um, In 2014, we had 31 participants. 17 of them got employed. One uh, went to college. We had eight conflict mediations that could have resulted in a fight, shooting, and homicide, but didn't. Last year, we had 29 participants. 18 of them got employed. One got their GED. Uh, one got their felony expunged. Um, and we had 34 conflict mediations that could have resulted in a fight, shooting, and homicide, but didn't. Uh, this year alone, we got eight. Um, out of 12 of our participants employed, and we already had 44 conflict mediations that could have resulted in a fight, shooting, and homicide, but didn't. Uh, so the work, you know, is being done. We could do more with more funding. Um, it's, it's all about relationships, but we can't lose our integrity and morals and principles for the dollar. Um, I'm quite sure we could have been funded February 4th, you know, by the city, but it was something in that RFP that we didn't agree with, so, you know, we didn't submit it. Um, We cannot sell out these teens and young adults for the sake of a dollar. We won't do that. Mm. So what's the link? Where are the links that they can can get at you? A thug is a dud, A-T-H-U-G-I-S-A-B-U-D dot org. You go on that website, it's a donate button, and whatever you give us, Two days later, it would be in the organization bank account. You know, anything that you can do, we would greatly appreciate it. Um, If you have any questions, my phone number is on the website, but I give it to you right now, 614-302-1640. Again, anything that you can do, we would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. So there you have it. You know, I push, I push the, I push the envelope. I'm always promoting black business, black empowerment, black growth, black community building. Uh, and but, but it, these brothers and sisters that that we have out on the front line, this brother, he's on the front line every day, putting in work out there, talking with the youth, some, some talking with some of the ones that 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 there's certain bourgeois blacks that won't talk to. They cringe and get scared. The, it's it, these brothers are out in the trenches doing the work that a lot of brothers and sisters is just not willing to do. And that's why I love this brother and what he's doing in his movement. So please support. Give what you can. It's for a great cause. We need we need a thug as a dud organization all across this country. Uh, uh, I You know, and, and, and so I push. I'm going to continue to push, especially when I see brothers and sisters out here doing the work. I want to get them that exposure. Plus, I want to put in the minds of young black people 
the possibilities of man, what you can actually do with very little. This brother's working with a very small budget. And if he had the budget that he really needs to sa to save that to save lives, because basically the budget that he's working on is peanuts. He's basically going off his own internal love that he has for community. So if we had the <clears throat> the funding actually that's needed that a lot of these other organizations get that don't do anything except sit back. You can't even get them to answer their phone half the time. But if he had that kind of funding, our communities would be so much different. So please support this brother. A thug is a dud. That's www.a thug is a dud. That's D-U-D dot org. Support, give what you can. You know, we we, we we like what jingles, but we prefer that which folds. So with that said, my name is Yurima Karama. Peace, blessings, salutations. One, I'm out.